Motherfuckers wanna get famous. Bust guns. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy of Bastard, and on today we are back on Xenoverse 2. Back, and I'm finally back. And as a proposition, as of right now in my life, I cannot daily upload because life is just too too much is going on in life. But I do grind the game like a lot, but I cannot daily upload. I know you guys are like confused about that. I can play off screen like a lot, just I play really late, like very, very late. And with school starting again, going into my senior year, I want to be focused on school and stuff like that. So I will be uploading weekly. I will try to upload at least twice or three times a week. I will make that promise at least twice a week. Yeah, that, that's a promise to make. But all right, boys, we're back on Xenoverse 2. And as by the title of this video, we're going to discuss Xenoverse 3. So we're going to hop into some expert missions. I might as well grind and just talk to you guys and just chill out. And we're going to discuss some things that that should happen in Xenoverse 3 for the final hurrah of the series to be amazing. If it's going to be the final Xenoverse game. And if Xenoverse 3 even comes out, who knows? It might not come out. Fighter Z might be so hyped that the second game might just come out. Right after that. I doubt that'll happen, but you know. Alright, boys, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, boys, we're here doing the, the doing the Vegeta expert mission just because like it's the most chill mission. I can just chill out. I might beat it, might not, I don't know. This character is like level 87. This is my ultimate trunk CAC, by the way. I did not say that, but you guys saw his name. It's just I just wanted to make it like a trunk CAC. And then just make them like we got all these different presets, like the future Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4. Uh, potential unleashed, and yeah, as you guys can see, the Kaioshin preset of, of trunks. But yeah, we're gonna talk about Xenoverse 3, boys. And the first thing we gotta talk about is the roster. And the roster for Xenoverse 3, I know the fans, they love like giant rosters. Fans love huge rosters, yet only use a certain amount of characters. Like most people in this game, like when you're playing ranked. Will only use the most OP characters like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku has to be the most used character on this game. If he's not the most used, then you got like other characters like Hit, uh, Hit Trunks, uh, other variants of Goku and, and whatnot. And it's kind of outplayed. I mean, I love Goku. No, don't get me wrong. I love Goku like as a character, but... I'm one of the people that don't like to use the most OP characters in, like, ranked and, like, player matches and stuff like that. Because anyone can pick, like, Goku's one of those starter characters. Like, anyone can pick him up, learn, like, two combos, and then, like, you, he's just, they become god to him because that's just how his stats work. He, he got, like, the most stamina, got a, got the most health. His, his strike super's almost maxed out. His basic attacks, he, he, he drops dump trucks. His key blast super's at a decent rate. Like, he's one of those characters that's, like, overall just built. Perfectly, if you like want to say it like that, then you got other characters. Um, what's another uh, character that just uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito? He has Goku stats, like he has Goku's first preset stats. Like, people don't know that, but I mean, if he was even like even better, then the game would be <laughs> like seen as pay to win and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, the roster we need the uh, we need the Dragon Ball Z characters, the Dragon Ball Super characters, and relevant GT characters. There are a lot of people that like actually like GT, and I was one of the people that enjoy. I like I enjoy all Dragon Ball. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. I'm like hardcore fan. I enjoy the stuff. I enjoy all of it. Like I don't care what it is. I just enjoy this it. Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball. Even the filler episodes I like. Like even that one episode when Bulma or Krillin and Gohan got stuck on that one planet on the way to Namek. Most of you don't even know about those episodes because in the Kai and all the dub stuff, those were taken out. But anyways, uh, we need like relevant characters and the GT characters. People like you're really upset that like other GT characters are, aren't in the game. Like the GT Gohan, uh, GT Goten, um, a what if what like a what if character GT Gotenks. He he could he could even be in the game. Like the Goten and Trunks do exist in GT. They could, they they could seal fuse go Super Saiyan. They did not, but they could have at one point. Uh, Maju. Uh, super baby Vegeta, like dude, ba super baby, super baby too, just baby, like because people are triggered that the Golden Rosaro form of baby is in the game, but baby himself is not in the video game. Like it's, it's kind of crazy, but that's I mean that, that's how it is. I don't know. Um, uh, moving on, other stuff like uh the character fusions. Um, 
like, yeah, like, Go Tanks could be a fusion, uh, a water fusion. If Goku and Gohan got the Potara instead of Goku and Vegeta, Gokan could be a fusion. Uh, there were even, like, in Budokai, in Budokai 3, uh, Tien and Yamcha knew the, knew the dance. They could fuse. Um, what's another transformation? Uh, what's something else? Fusions, like, uh, Super Boo. We got, we had Boo absorb Gohan, Buhan, Boo Tinks. Bukalo when he absorbed Piccolo, <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. That when he absorbed Piccolo, then he absorbed Gold Tanks and like all this stuff. Like, dude, there's so much left out of this video game. Uh, let's let's talk about something else. Uh, the power scaling. Like, well, okay, we're playing right. Actually, since I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at Goku's stats. Just take a look at him. Look at his stats. They are perfect, nearly perfect. This is Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This is. Honestly, the best character in the video game. You can argue with me if you want to, but who who tops this man in this video game? Like, somebody please him. Like, look at Super Saiyan 4 stats. He has a good amount of health and key, but it mean it's Super Saiyan 4. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 should be up to par with Super Saiyan God, in my honest opinion. You can argue about that, but in, in the anime, Super Saiyan, full power Super Saiyan 4 was like the, the, sh the shit. The shit. Was the shit. Then you got all of Goku's presets. Like they made his basic attacks even stronger. This one. Uh, then on oh, this one, dude, the community was hold up. I press Y on accent. The community was up. The rank community was upraised about this one. They gave Goku Super God Fist and Sledgehammer and the Kaioken all on the same preset. And I ain't losing. Here's my full power in player matches. It's XL to all Kamehameha waves. All of them. With the Kaioken, you will kill somebody with that shit. I don't care, bro. It's pretty, he's pretty damn good. Goku is pretty damn good. So, I think the power scale should be, uh, should be down just a tad bit. Like, in rank matches, uh, preferably. Like, your CAC should be able to match up to, like, Goku's stats. Because, like, no matter how hard you try, how much you max out your stamina, dude. You, there is no, like, there is no CAC in this video game that matches up to, like, Goku's amount of stamina. Or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito's stamina. Or some, something of that nature. And if you guys don't know, your stats do reflect on the characters that you use in this video game. People hate to, like, believe that, but I have tried it. That does affect, like, your characters and stuff like that. Because when I put zero in my Key Blast Supers... The final Kamehameha wave on Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, uh, Vegito is not that good. But on my Ki Blast based character, I can do about 15,000 damage with that character. So I'm pretty sure it does change uh, how everything how everything goes in this video game. And moving on. Alright boys, now we're getting into the actual character stuff. Now with the story, well, I didn't play Xenoverse 1. But if I'm correct, most of the story was copy and pasted, like the Namekian Saga, uh, the Namekian Saga, the Saiyan Saga. Most of that stuff was copy and pasted. I didn't play Xenoverse One because there were a lot of bugs in Xenoverse One, like with the Super Saiyan cheese and all that other stuff. I just didn't play Xenoverse One. I played Xenoverse Two. I bought like that was the only Dragon Ball game I did not buy. Like I played Burst Limit, Raging Blast, Raging Blast Two, Ultimate Tenkaichi. Also played all those games. But yeah, just get like let's get a new story, something fresh, something more relevant to the characters and all the characters should have like different like different scenes and stuff like that and for example like if you go to super saiyan 3 in one of the fights and then a scene comes up in my honest opinion whatever transformation you're in you should be stuck in the transformation until i mean even in the cutscene like they should they, they shouldn't be lazy and like just not put it in there they like if you're a super saiyan 3 and you have no key when, like, when the battle starts and you're not in Super Saiyan 3. You can't just snap back into it because, obviously, you got to charge up to get your key back. Or you got to fight your way back to get, like, to get back into the transformation. And stuff like that. So, I think, um, in all honesty, if you transform, you should stay in the transformation and whatnot during cutscenes and, and fights. And the ending should be different for all characters. Like, dude, seeing a Freezer Race character do a, a perfect Kamehameha. At the end of the game, kind of triggers me. I'm I'm so serious. I know there's like some alternative ending where like you do a dragon fist, like the CSC does it, and not Goku. But like, yeah, dude, that's sh like it, it triggers me seeing the Mechans and all these other races do command mails. Okay, okay, Boos and the Earthlings and the Saiyans, it makes sense because Goku and like the Earthlings, they know how to do it. And Majin Buu knew how to do the Kamehameha. He imitated Goku's move. Like that makes sense. But like. Seeing an arc ocean, like, dude, their preset move is a death beam when you go golden. Like, bro, they're not doing Kamehameha. Is that, like, that type of stuff could easily be changed, but I guess Dips is being lazy and didn't want to change it. 
But all right, moving on, moving on. Now we're getting into the character customization. This is the part I have all this stuff written down. I'm like reading it. Have all this, like this is the part I put the most time into. And this part will kind of like trigger people because, in all honesty, the Saiyans already have the most transformations in the game. But there could be ways to add like all these gods or transformations and like Super Saiyan Four or Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue, whatever you want to call it. Like, all of these transformations could be added into the game if they were, like, scaled correctly or just, like, reskins of, like, another transformation or something like that. Like, people wouldn't be upset like that. Like, just how Goku is Goku and Vegito Blue is literally, like, they have the same exact sex. Vegito Blue has Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku stats. They have the same stats. Just like he's a reskin of him, just a different character. Like he's his own character. He's not Vegito. They don't fight the same. He, this Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito doesn't even use his feet. Honestly, like he he kicks in one of his combos, but other than that, he's like majority of the time he's punching extremely fast, like very fast. It's cancerous. But all right, moving on. But uh, we're gonna get into the character customization because this is where where it all comes down. All right, now with the Saiyans, we already know how everyone feels about that. Uh, Super Saiyan should be be how it is. Super Saiyan one, Super Saiyan two, Super Saiyan three should be able to Saiyan get the strike boost. That's okay. That's fine with me. I honestly don't care about that because Super Saiyan three it is. I mean, for what the Super Saiyan transformation is and being being able to go SSJ three, it does make sense for like the stamina reduction and key to barely come back. Okay, I would I would say as being a Super Saiyan 3, I would think that your key would come back faster, or like your key uh, recovery as SSJ3 would be better. But the stamina is understandable because Goku said, and like everyone knows that it's very hard to sustain Super Saiyan 3. I mean, Gotenks didn't really have a problem with it because he's he said, I guess he said in the transformation, all right, for a, sh for a shorter amount of time, but it did drain the fusion when he did it because it was Super Saiyan 3, but. I mean, the stamina recovery, I can understand that being very slow, or I can understand that, that's very, let me say it again, that's very understandable, if you guys didn't watch the anime, Goku had a very hard time, he even got knocked out of Super Saiyan 3 trying to fight in it sometimes, he fought Majin Buu, and he just couldn't, like, he couldn't stay in the transformation, he just kicked him out of it, he tried to charge up, and boom, Goku's out of the transformation, so that's understandable, um, the future Super Saiyan, with being able to charge key faster, I do, I do approve that transformation, like, but like the stats on it, it dude, it's, it's practically useless unless you want to charge up and throw ultimates. I mean, like you don't really get a boost in anything. It's like, like it's, it's not that good. I mean, the uh, the attacks on Super Vegeta two are better than like Super Future Super Saiyan, if I'm not mistaken. Like the stats on Super Vegeta two are just good. And Super Vegeta two is good for what it is. Speaking of now, now, since I'm talking about it, Super Vegeta 2 is actually pretty damn good because of the Key Blast supers and stuff like that. That makes sense because Vegeta is a key base, a key base character, and Goku is more of a striker out of the two, the two gods you're saying. And all right, then potential unleash that is for all characters. That care it boosts like all of your stats in a positive way. I think it's I think it's about 15% in recovery for key stamina. Uh, then it's like a 15% increase in basic attack, strike supers, key blast supers. If I'm not mistaken, it's, it's boosting in like everything. It boosts all your stats and, and health, I think. Or something like that. I'm, I don't think it health. I mean, that'd be pretty stupid. But like, you guys know what I mean. That's a pretty solid transformation. Um, What else? What else? What else? The Super Saiyan 4 transformation. I guess it could. I guess it could. If you want Super Saiyan 4, it would boost your Key Blast Supers extra large. But your but I don't know. How would you guys like scale down? Because Super Saiyan 4 was pretty damn good. I guess, I guess it can boost your Key Blast Supers and your Key like uh recovery to like extra large, but your stamina recovery was reduced significantly. Like if you want Super Saiyan 4, you would like be like your stamina would be like it's like you're in Super Saiyan 2 trying to get your stamina back. Like it wouldn't, it would barely come back. Or Super Saiyan 3 to balance it out. I guess that'd be pretty good. Then your attacks would be like at Super Saiyan 2 rate or like a Super Saiyan 2 level. So they won't be too overpowered. I guess that would make sense. Then I guess the Super Saiyan God transformation, the red transformation, like Goku's transformation, is Goku's transformation. I mean, Vegeta can do it in the manga, but that's, that's another story. Um, 
uh, I guess you could like reskin potential unleash and boost it in certain categories. I guess your stamina, no, not stamina. I guess like in your key blast supers, your strike supers, and like your attacks. But then I guess your stamina recovery was small. See, Super Saiyan God, look at Super. Wow, well, I'm talking about Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God, Goku's stats aren't as good. Like his stamina is barely there. His strikes, his key blast supers, and strike supers are like balanced out and whatnot. Then you get to Super Saiyan Blue. His strike supers are significantly increased. His key blast supers are more increased than what they were on the Super Saiyan God transformation. And his stamina is like out of this world. So, yeah, I guess you can do it like that. Um, and then the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan transformation. This is the one that like everyone wants. The Super Saiyan Blue transformation in Xenoverse 2. I don't see it coming to Xenoverse 2. I can see it in Xenoverse 3, but not Xenoverse 2. I could see them like reskinning potential unleashed. And boosting all your stats by, I would say, like, 17% instead of 15%. Or, like, 20%. I mean, it would make sense to boost it by, like, 20%. Then it'd be overpowered. But I guess you could unlock it in, like, a way like you would unlock Potential Unleashed. Like, say you had to get Zs on all the missions you at, when you had to train with Goku and Vegeta to, like, unlock the Super Saiyan transformation. Like, say you had a later transformation, I mean, you had a later uh, quest with Vegeta, like, you, his the last mission with him to unlock Super Vegeta, I believe, is you fight the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan version of Vegeta. So, I guess the mission after that to unlock Super Saiyan God is, like, fighting him and Goku on, in their Super Saiyan God forms in, like, the Room of Spirit of Time or something like that. Some quest like that. That'd be pretty cool to unlock Super Saiyan Blue like that. Well, first, I guess you would have to go Super Saiyan God, and then you go Super Saiyan Blue. So like, like that, I guess go no, you do the quest with Goku as a, while he's Super Saiyan God and he'll teach you how to go Super Saiyan God. And then you do it with Goku and Vegeta as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyans, and they will teach you how to go Super Saiyan Blue. It's like something like that would make sense. Okay, then we got like the Namekians. Um, I know the giant form is kind of outplayed. That was only done by Lord Slug, and I mean, I guess Piccolo had a giant form, but that was like the Demon King Piccolo from Dragon Ball, if you guys know about him. I know most people do, like the real Dragon Ball fans do know about him. So he had a giant form. Uh, Lord Slug had the giant form. Piccolo really didn't go giant. The regular Piccolo, he didn't, he really didn't use form like that. But he did fuse with like Nail and got stronger. Then he fused with Kami, aka God. <laughs> no, all right. Yeah, uh, then he fused with Kami again. He was just like this super Namekian. He was like up to par with like the androids. He was up to par with Android 17. They were going head up. And like it was that fight was great. That was a pretty damn good fight. If you guys watch that fight, go watch that fight. It was pretty damn good. But I guess they can have like a super Namekian god transformation. I know it's like in the Dragon Ball Wiki and like all that stuff. Like the tramp like it's fan made or it is like it has been brought up like in the archives for Dragon Ball, but it, it's not it doesn't exist in like the anime and the manga, if I'm not mistaken, it does not exist. So it's not canon. It's non canon. So it, does, it just doesn't exist. So I, I can see them putting something like that in the video game. Like another potential unleashed or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan transformation just for the Namekians. That would be pretty cool. Um, Boos, uh, the Majin race. I don't... I mean, with the whole purification and kid turning into Kid Boo getting his moves, that that's kind of trash to me. I haven't even made a Majin just because of the sheer fact that you, you're you being taught to turn into, like, Kid Boo. Like, if I'm... If I'm not mistaken, you literally, you literally, like, turn into Kid Boo, and that's just that. You're Kid Boo, and you get his stats, and all that. that that's just that. So, that, that kind of sucks. I wish they had, like, a different transformation, or everybody had, like, a different process, or something like that. Or, like, your character, the way you made him would have, like, a different skin, or, like, he, or he or she just had, like, his own look when he went into that form, I would have to say. So, like, the females had their look, but, like, the evil Kid Boo-ish look, not Kid Boo literally, but, like, their own look. So, that'd be pretty cool. Um, the Arcotians, um, I guess we could have, like, the Arcotian levels of transformation. The Freezer Race, if you guys don't know what the Arcotian are, the Freezer Race. Uh, I guess we could have, like, the first form, like, that's your regular form, like, your CAC. Then you got, like, second form, uh, I think that's the Assault form. And then the third form was, like, the Key form. And then, like, the final form, I guess we could have that one, like, it's, like, literally, like, the Super Saiyan transformation, like, one, stage one, two, and three. Like, you got the the assault form, that's, like, the striker, that's the striker build, that's the one for strikers. Uh, the second form, for Key Blast Supers, and then the third form could be for, uh, 
It'd be like the potential leash version or that version of uh, just the freezer race transformation and stuff like that. And then you got the golden form, the god tier key build transformation. It's supposed to be like the best for key blast suits and stuff like that. Uh, this form should be, uh, I, I mean, for what it is, it does make sense. Frieza really couldn't hold the transformation off. I mean, now we can in Dragon Ball Super since he has, like, perfect control over it. I guess you would have to say the way he conserves his stamina. Apparently, he can he can control the transformation, like, way more than what he was used to be able to. So, yeah, I guess we could do that for the Frieza race. Of course, the golden form. Yeah, just boost it up in different departments and stuff like that when they get the, when they transform. That would be pretty cool. And yeah, oh, and the Earthlings. I mean, Nimbus is all right, but for what they have, they can learn the Kaioken potential unleashed. Um, uh, yeah, I honestly wouldn't see anything else for them though. I don't. I mean, the Earthlings you can't really do anything with too much about this. I guess you could just keep unlocking their potential. Like there's a a grade two potential unleashed because Gohan had his his potential unleashed twice. He got unleashed by Guru and by the Elder Kai. So I guess you could have like potential unleash. And then you have like the Elder Kai potential unleash. I don't know. Like you just you get this latent power and stuff like that. Just better than the regular potential unleash, I guess. Just for like the Earthlings. Like that transformation is specifically for the Earthlings. Like something like that. Just so they can be like special and stuff like that too. But, uh, alright, moving on. Oh, uh, we should be able to have like full access to accessories in the game. I know most of you don't care about stuff like that. But it would be cool to have like every form of Trunks this sort because I'm one of the people that likes that like I like how my character looks. I like being able to like use stuff like that in game. And Trunks has like three different swords if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they got Tapion sword and then just Future Trunks sword. Like those are the only two swords. But then like well they have the Future Trunks of Dragon Ball Super. They have his sword like the giant red sword with the sword of hope and all that stuff. They got that sword. But they don't have like the regular just red future trunk sword. Like that sword is pretty damn badass to me. It's, it's just the red skin of the sword. I mean, it looks cool to me. So I wish we could have like access to that type of stuff. Uh, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. And like just more like access to like the clothes and stuff like that. Because in all honesty, to get like Vegeta's battle suit, I mean, we got that stuff in Goku's. That I mean, all this stuff is pretty doggone cool. But like, like I want to be have like the black outfit for trunks or like um. Or who, who? What's some other cool character clothes like Tapion's clothes? Um, I don't know. Uh, <sighs> I don't even know, dude. Just more stuff. And we should be able to. Oh, we should be able to stack accessories. Like have more than one accessory on. Say I wanted to have like the Majin mark on, or the Super Saiyan four clothes on, like the Super Saiyan four top on. But I also wanted like the Gogeta clothes on. Like say you wanted your CAC to be like a Super Saiyan four. Fuse with like his self from another time on or something like that and he'd be like ultimate or something like that or like for say the Potara earrings and like a super Vegito wig or something like that and speaking of that we should have like more of the character like hairstyles because Goku and Vegeta's wigs are cool but they kind of outplay like I would want to see like a super go super saiyan Gogeta's wig uh super Vegito's wig and all this type of stuff and all this stuff would be pretty darn cool and speaking of stuff like that um uh, Alright, now, now I'm talking about characters. We need, and I think the Dragon Ball community, like if you're watching this video and you play Xenoverse 2, I think you could agree with me that we need fighting styles for. For our CACs, like this is one of the things that made Ultimate Team Kachi. If you guys have played that video game, that is the first Dragon Ball game you can make your character in. In that game, you had full access to customization, and that game is the reason why I'm making this video. Like, they literally, that game is the character creation video game. You can only go Super Saiyan 1. You can only have a Saiyan as a character. But the customization on that game is way better than it is on this video game. I know we got more accessories and items and stuff like that in this video game because it's a newer game. Newer anime is Dragon Ball Super was not out when this game came out. It wasn't out. I mean, it wasn't thought of. I'm pretty sure it was, but it was not out. And Xenoverse 2 wasn't out. But that game was out. That was the first game you could create your character on in Dragon Ball Z. And we had access to customization at all times. And, like, the hairstyles changed. And, y'all, I'll get into all that later. 
But yeah, the fighting styles and how you would unlock these fighting styles. And in Ultimate Team Kachi, you had trainers. Like you do in Xenoverse 2, you go around, you train, you, you go around the world, and you would unlock characters as you go in the store. Like you could t you could train with Tien, you could train with Yamcha, um, Vegeta, Goku, Trunks. You could train with all these people. And like once you completed all their training, you could unlock their fighting styles. And that was a pretty good thing about the video game because... I mean, there were certain characters in the game that fought better than other characters. Like, say, um, what was another character? What was the character in the video game? Super Saiyan Gogeta was a pretty damn good character. He has always been a good character in video games. Like, Gogeta and Vegito, you could have their fighting styles, dude. Like, imagine your CAC fighting, like, Vegito with his feet. Or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, he's just fighting hella fast. Like, dude, that stuff is pretty damn cool. And if you had a sword on your back... In that game, I'm pretty sure you could have swords on your back, but if I'm not mistaken, you could. But if you couldn't, oh, I'm sorry. But if you had a sword on your back, you could fight like Trunks. I'm pretty sure Trunks was a teacher. I, I'm almost positive he was, but I think he wasn't because of the accessory factor and, and with the whole sword thing and all that. But like, dude, I want my character to be, to be able, like, to be able to fight like Trunks. Like, say I got the sword on my back right now and I'm just fighting, and he just takes it off his back and he just like starts slaying you with it. Like, it would make sense, like, you had access to, like, the character, like, fighting style, but you had to have this accessory on, like, Trunks' sword is a part of his fighting style, and that's what I love about Trunks is that he's the only character in the game that fights with a sword, and it's pretty damn cool, just like with Goku Black and Zamasu, like, the whole aura hand thing, and, like, the, the hands and all this stuff, they're pretty damn cool, like, you can fight like that, too, like, it'd be pretty damn neat, I just want my CAC to be able to fight like Trunks, it is, like, that shit would be lit. It'd be pretty damn lit. And what's another thing? Uh, the character auras. Like, also in that game, in Ultimate Team Kachi, you could change, like, your character aura. Like, you could, ha you could have, like, a fire aura where you charge up. Uh, when you charge up your ki, it'll look like you're in the Kaioken state in your base form. You could have the Super Saiyan um, aura. You got the Super Saiyan 3 aura. Super Vegito aura. Super Saiyan Gogeta aura. Uh, the Kaioken or the Kaioken times 10 or so your character looked like he was like glowing up bright red when he was charging up Or like when he was in Super Saiyan and you had the Super Saiyan 4 or your Super Saiyan or had that this yellowish yellow oranges uh, Electricity red aura and it was pretty damn neat like all that stuff is pretty damn cool and like customization uh, It's like your hair and stuff and in that video game your hairstyle changed like you see how my CSC's hairstyle is in the corner it would look like Trunks's if I transformed on that video game. Like, and if you had like Trunks's hair, like his long hair, it would spike up when you went Super Saiyan in the game. You can only go Super Saiyan one, but it will still spike up and change in that game. So that was another good thing about the game that they actually put time into. Um, what's another thing? Uh, the character stats. We already talked about character stats. Uh, your character should be able to come up to par in ranked matches with like a, a Goku or stuff like that. See how it looks like. Since this is without limitations and stuff like that. Goku's stats look like this in rank and without being in rank. They look like this too. And it's kind of, is honestly unfair. I would have to say myself. Because fighting, like, constantly fighting a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku is annoying. And I'm, I'm pretty damn ranked. I'm ranked pretty high in this video game. So, I, I know how it feels to have to constantly fight, like, a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, a Hit, uh, a Vegito, a Gogeta... All those characters, dude, like, it, it gets annoying. Uh, interactable, I interactable items, like, the say, yeah, I talked about that, the sword being on your back. What else? Alright, uh, character changes at will. This is one of the things that kind of triggers me in this video game. Uh, certain character changes, in all honesty, you shouldn't have to get the Dragon Balls to wish to change your hairstyle. Like, dude, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't like that at all. And I think other people, like, if you're really into, like, character customization and just want to, like, change your character's look from time to time, I don't think people, like, really approve of that one because I know I don't. Okay, then we got Canton City. I think the Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball universe is very large. Like, Z, it's, it's like, dude, Dragon Ball is, Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball. There are so many places you could go in Dragon Ball. Like, dude. And... <sighs> I keep referring to Ultimate Team Kaachi and like Budokai 3 because that you un those universes there was a vast world and you could travel to like the desert uh, and there would actually be a whole desert you could travel to cities
and Ultimate Team Yachi and fight people. Like, there was cities. You had the World Tournament stage in the middle of the water on the island. You had the island where the androids were. Uh, you had even, like, the future, I believe, like, with the destructive cities and stuff like that. You had Planet Namek. Uh, you had the Arctic. The Arctic was, like, its whole area. That's where you fight Piccolo, and he, like... He beats the crap out of you, and that's like the hardest fight in the game. That's where you unlock the Super Saiyan transformation at. Like, dude, that type of stuff is what needs to be in Xenoverse 3. Pretty solid video game, in my honest opinion. Like, the main things I do want to see in Xenoverse 3... I want to see the power scaling. The power scaling, like, everything needs to be on the bar. When you transform, if my hairstyle looks like this... It should spike up when I go into Super Vegeta 2, in, in, in all honesty. It should. It should it should spike up, and it should look like how Trunks' was when he got this short hairstyle, because his hair was shorter, and it was longer, and it did change when he transformed. Like, that... It shouldn't be hard to do that. Just because it's golden does not mean it changes. Like, it, it's not spiked up. Like, no. That, that's not cool. But, yeah, and what was some other things I could just talk about? Uh, Gohan, like, we need more characters with, like, transformations. And, like, the presets and stuff in this game don't make sense. Like, Goku, okay, Goku, the regular Goku, not the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, but on just Goku. Goku got, like, 12 presets. And the last preset he has is him and his Whis outfit. But he cannot transform. And Vegeta is the same way. They have the Whis outfits but can't transform into Super Saiyans or anything. There, There's nothing there. It's just a preset taking up a spot in all honesty. Like, I want to be able to use that preset of Goku and go Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. And not have Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan as his own character. Like, you could have that preset of Goku that can transform into Super Saiyan God. And then get Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku stats when you transform. Then when you untransform, you go back to normal Goku stats. Like, they don't... I know they think about this type of stuff and hear about this type of stuff, but they do not execute and don't do stuff like that. Like, they get lazy and just say, oh, we're just gonna make the character. Okay, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. He's overpowered. Point by period. The community gonna rage about it. That's what we gonna do. Like, they do stuff like that. And what's another character? Um, Ah... Vegeta, he's, yeah, I just said that he's the same way, he has presets like that when he can't even transform, he like, and the, the Vegeta I'm fighting right now is the, the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and he has the Whis on, one of Vegeta's last preset, just like Goku's, this is Whis battle suit, it's like, he got the normal Vegeta moves, but he cannot transform, and that is pretty, like, darn triggering, and we should have, like, what's another preset, uh, we don't got Gohan. Gohan isn't in his base form. I want to see Gohan go Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. I wouldn't mind that. Like, I want to see Gohan go Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. Uh, and then, like, we don't have Gohan in his Bojack Unbound, uh, gi. Or, or, like, the Turtle Hermit gi that, like, like... Because in that movie, he was dressed just like his dad. And he had the outfit on, and... It was pretty lit to see Gohan like that and go Super Saiyan 2 and, like, kill Bojack. And speaking of Bojack, we got Bojack in the game, but he can't transform! Like, Bojack is Bojack because of his transformation. That was a pretty lit transformation. I can't explain, I can't, like, explain to you enough, like, how much, like, these boys should be and how much should be in the game, but isn't in the game because it's, like, $60. I don't care if I gotta pay for DLC. I will buy the season pass of the game and get access to this type of stuff. I already have the season pass of the game. Clearly, I got all the characters, like, that. I want, I want all access to them. And, like, other characters in the game are just taking up spots. Like, Final Form Cooler is in the game, but Fourth Form Cooler is also in the game. In Raging Blast 2 and in previous Dragon Ball games, you play, you pick Cooler, and he was able to just transform into on his character. Like, that was Cooler. And Cooler did change. He became a lot stronger from being in his, in his base form, his Fourth Form. And he can transform into this form. You see how his stats kind of change. They go, not really, they don't change that much. But his health is, I guess, his strike suits are better. I don't know. They don't really look like they change that much. For, they don't really change that much for Cooler. But he is stronger. If you use this variant of Cooler, he's a lot stronger than this variant of Cooler. Like, stuff like that. Uh, let me show you guys, show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, you see Goku? Got all his presets. Okay, well, on, okay, this character does not have the Wii symbol outfit I was referring to, but it doesn't have it a lot because I think you get that through, like, the DLC or something like that, or just, like, the last mission, I'm pretty sure, but Goku has this outfit on, but he's in his base form, and 
you see how it says like let me show you. Uh, where RT and uh, LTRTR would be, that's where your awoken skill is supposed to be, and you're supposed to be able to go like Super Saiyan 2 or something, dude. There's Goku has nothing there, and he's in his Wii Simba outfit. And this is the Goku after Majin Buu that apparently cannot transform, like, it's stupid, dude. And I don't like that. The GT Goku, uh, we got the GT Goku, the kid Goku. And, but we got Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I can understand those being two different characters. I kind of can. But in Ultimate Team Kachi 3, arguably one of the best Dragon Ball Z games ever. It's like on PS2, the game was lit. It was it was the shit. I don't, I don't care what you say about Xenoverse 2. The, that game, this game ain't got shit on that game. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, because like the character roster, huge. It was literally almost every character that's ever appeared in Dragon Ball in that video game. Like that game was enormous and literally every character had all of their transformations on just like one character like Frieza had all of his transformations every single one of them on the first form of Frieza like you could pick okay in that game you could pick to start off in what form you want to start off in that was pretty cool I like that option you could, that you could start off but the fact that you could ascend to all these forms is why the game was so doggone good and like you had GT Goku and he could go Super Saiyan. He could go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. Then you had uh, Golden Ozaru, uh, GT Goku. Yes, you could play as Great Apes in that video game. It was, you, you mean, you were very strong, but you could you barely had, like, you could barely move and stuff like that. So you had a disadvantage in all honesty. But then from the Golden Ozaru, he went Super Saiyan 4. And then we got, like, the when, when you were tag team and stuff like that. You had tag teams. If you had Goku and Vegeta on the same team. Instead of transforming, you could like slide over on uh, when you hold out the transformation slot. You could slide over, and then you had three options. You could go uh, Vegito, Super Vegito, or you could go Super uh, Saiyan Gogeta. And if you have the Super Saiyan 4, so you could go to Super Saiyan, uh, you could go Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Like, it was all that stuff in the game is damn cool. They, and if Dems wants to create one of the best Dragon Ball games ever in history, you gotta listen to the fans. The fans know what and uh and the graphics people think that like looking at fighter z and looking at this video game more people prefer the fighter z look of the video game than they do this this look of the, like the slick uh shiny look like look at this super saiyan 4 goku like the light and he's very glossy i mean that's cool and all but i mean it i i would prefer like the anime look over this i mean this does look pretty damn cool for a video game this is this is cool this is neat like super saiyan god the lighting is, I mean, no, I know it's supposed to be luminescent with his aura and stuff like that, but still. And he got this Gohan, uh, when he's in Potential Unleashed, he looks pretty damn, he looks pretty damn saucy. Like, even his eyes change, like, I like how they do that. Uh, there's just, like, a pool in, like, a raspberry. Don't need six different presets, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, like, no one cares. They die in, like, seconds. Put them against, like, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Super God, one of those fists, and damn near his whole health bar is gone. I'm just being real. Like, those characters don't need to be in there. Like, even the Cybermen, all the, the multicolor Cybermen and stuff like that, those don't need to be in the game. Like, dude, we don't need that type of stuff. We want, we want the Super Saiyan God transformations. And when I'm doing this, I want to see, like, a different aura. I want to be able to... I want to be able to fight differently. I want to be able to punch differently. I want to see Trunks' sword come on back. I want to just kick my feet. Uh, I want to spread shot retreat like Super Saiyan 4s. I want my hair to change when I transform. All this type of stuff. Like, dude. They got so much work to do. And, they, and Dimps has the time to put in the work, bros. They have the time. And if you guys agree with me, drop a like on this video. Be a real fan for Z. Just Dragon Ball in general. I'm a fan of Z, Super GT, all of it. I love it to death. I do. There's anime posters everywhere in my room and all that type of stuff. Dude, I got the mangas, all that. Man, dude, I love the series. And I will always be a fan of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and just, just all of it in general. But the games could be better. Like, you can't stop downgrading. Time is goes by. Like, the game's downgrade. And speaking of downgrades, like, even with like attacks like this, like the Gallic Gun and the Kamehameha, like the Gallic Gun and the Kamehameha, uh, the Kaioken times four Gallic, uh, Kamehameha, Kamehameha, however you want to pronounce it, versus the Super Gallic Gun with Vegeta and Goku. 
That is honestly one of the best blast collisions, if not the best blast collision of all time. Like, but the blast collisions, that's another thing I want to see in the video game. Uh, uh, yeah, the fighting styles. That really the fighting styles. If we gonna get anything for the next universe, that is what I want to see. I'm getting Fighter Z. I went to GameStop today. I pre-ordered it, so you guys will see gameplay of that. Uh. I think my next video is gonna be, it's gonna be like Call of Duty because I'm doing a pre-order World War II. I pre-ordered that like a while ago. I pre-ordered that one like when you get first pre-ordered. But I will, I will still be playing COD, all that type of stuff. And yeah, I'm just we're gonna wrap it up here. It's a prolonged video. We just I just had to talk about this. Like Ultimate Trunks, my CAC. This is my Trunks CAC. I hate that Tom Patrol logo is on this battle suit. Because if you guys know about Ultimate Trunks, and that that really buff trunks that went against perfect sale. It's pretty lit, but we got the stupid Tom Patrol logo. I wish we can get the battle suit without the logo. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like stuff like this. Like, dude, it's basically a watermarked battle suit. Like, <laughs> like, dude, that's how I feel about. It. But this trunk is 87. You know, you guys know I've just been playing expert missions just because it makes time go by faster. I'm leveling up. I'm gonna get him the 99. He will get to 99. I promise. I want to delete him. Kai is still 99. That's my, that's my character. And why you guys think? I'm gonna tell you guys because I do I talk about ranked a lot. I do play it a lot. I'm sure you guys what my rank is. I'm like 800 something in the world. I'm trying to get into like the top, I guess the top 500 before Fire Z come out. I don't know, just some some crazy. Oh, what am I right now? 824. So yeah, I've been I played a lot. I want to get to about I guess 60,000 battle points. Get up there and just keep playing because I'm going to play this game when Fighter Z is out still because I love Xenoverse 2. But I want to thank you all for tuning into the video. It's been my pleasure. It's been the homie Not At Master. If I make more videos soon, the Evolution of Trunks video will come out after the Evolution of Vegeta video. I plan on doing that video soon, but you know that that those type of videos take time to make, so bear with me. But thank you guys for tuning into the video. It's been my pleasure. The homie Not At Master. Me and the boy Ultimate Trunks here. We're going to keep grinding. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. been a long time and this here's been a long round so i gotta go it's logic the one nobody would vouch for how's that shit for an outro